When you're hungry, it'll make you change your posture. See, I was laying down and I was asleep, resting in my bed, but because I was so hungry and I wanted something to feed my flesh, I needed him to get up immediately so that I could feed my hunger. Some of you are laying lackadaisical here in this sanctuary and you look like you're born out of your mind. You and I can make this declaration God will affirm because he watches over his word to perform it but you do not become skilled simply waiting till you get to church in front of people to act like it skill is developed when nobody's there and come on am I talking to anybody skill is the, it's your willingness to put in the work when nobody is watching you if you think that your calling will exempt you from work you are in the wrong move baby I have I you got to say, Lord, I don't understand it, but I believe you. I don't understand it. I can't make no sense out of it. I've been fighting with it for the last few months. I can't make heads or tails, but one thing I do, I believe God. Anybody in here ever had to walk by faith and not by sight? Come on here. Continue to bless the name of our God. Hallelujah. Come on, continue to bless the name of our God, for he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be adored. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be magnified. Hallelujah. Can I get somebody to shout in the house? Hallelujah. Come on, do it again. Would you shout in the house? Hallelujah. For we lift his name. your neighbor say I don't know about you I don't know. but I came to give my God the glory come on you ought to look at the other neighbor say other neighbor I don't know what you come to do oh but I come to give him my praise I come to give him my praise I come to pour my oil out on him I come to break my alabaster box on tonight We come to lift him high. The name of Jesus is lifted high in this house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on. Let me see you clap your hands in the house tonight. The name of Jesus.
say it, sons and daughters. Sons and daughters shall be saved. They shall be. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. Sons and daughters. Sons and daughters shall be saved. In this place. In this Come on, do it again. Do it again. Say sons and daughters. Sons and daughters shall be saved. Yeah. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. Sons and of an army arising. I hear the sound of an army arising. I hear the sound of an army arising. Ah! 
name of Jesus is lifted high. Come on, find your place of worship. Ah, come on, find. 
find your place, find your posture of worship. Give him what you owe him. 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 Give it, give it, give it. Give it, give it, give it. We press. press past the noise we press past the noise <laughs> we press past the news hallelujah we press past hallelujah glory to God hallelujah everything that we faced before we walked into the sanctuary we press past it
within me. Hallelujah, glory. Thank you for living. Just say thank you for living in me. Hallelujah. I'll be your sanctuary. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for living down on the inside of us. Hallelujah. We bless you. Hallelujah. We don't take you for granted tonight. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a hand praise. Woo. My, 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 my God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. We bless him tonight. Amen. We're just so, ooh, we're just so elated. Amen. To be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. To such a worthy celebration. Hallelujah. And when I put that down on, on my Facebook status, you know, I'm still trying to get used to this, this new stuff. Amen. And when I put that worthy in the caption, amen, I mean that. Amen. This is such a worthy celebration. Such an honorable young man and young woman of God. Would you give it up for the honorees, young apostle, Cardaro Beer, Jesus. That just happens to be my baby boy, my son. Hallelujah. I reverence and I respect, amen, who he is in the body of Christ. Amen. And they know me. Amen. He said to me one day, he said, when you get old, I ain't going to say I'm not going to claim it. But he said, when you get old, you all you think about, you got a story for everything. You always think about, oh, when he was a little boy and what this. He said, but the millennials, and when you're young, hallelujah, they think about what they're getting ready to go, what they're getting ready to do. Amen. So I have so many stories. Amen. But I'll just say what blesses me so much, mother, is there's a scripture that says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Hallelujah. And I called him my good part. Amen. My good part. I'm so proud of you. He's been a leader all his life. Amen. Never been a child. Amen. So I just thank God for you. I love you to life. Mom is always pushing. Amen. Praying. Fussing. Amen, all the time, amen. But we're just so worthy. We honor you tonight. Amen, we honor you. We love you this week, amen, and every day, amen. Hallelujah. And I just thank God for his beautiful prime. That's right, come on. It's ladies' night tonight. Amen. Amen, I just thank God for his beautiful Amen. This beautiful woman of God. Who else? Who could God just so beautiful that stands by his side? The perfect. Amen. Prime real. Give it up, amen, for my daughter. Amen. I can't even say daughter-in-law. My daughter in the gospel. Hallelujah. My daughter naturally. Give it up for Lady Jessica B. We, we salute you on tonight. Amen. Amen. Hear them stories come. Met her in the field. I met her in the field. Amen. She was minding her own business, serving the Lord. Amen. And then I heard one day he slid off into her DM. Amen. <laughs> And what a perfect match. Can't nobody, couldn't nobody do this but the Lord. We honor you, daughter. You are amazing. Amen, amen. We honor you. As she said, the fragrance of this ministry. Amen. And we honor you. We love you tonight. Amen. And every night. Amen. Because she loves my grandbabies. Amen. She loved them and they love her. Amen. We honor you. Amen. Let me get my protocol. Amen. I just honor the Lord tonight. I thank God again. Amen. Also for this great young leader. I watch y'all. We generals are watching. Amen. Give it up for Pastor Bishop Matthews is in the building. Woo! And we just thank God for his ministry. Amen. 
We thank God for this prophetess. There's another story. Brief. Amen. Another story. Amen. I'm not old. Amen. One of her members wandered off into the service one day. I was exhausted. I didn't know what I was going to do. I could not even hold my head up. Amen. And they came into the service. Amen. And when she came into the service, she said, my first lady is having a women's and a pastor's wife. P3, P3. P3131, Proverbs 3131, you ought to go. And we first later don't go everywhere. I said, Apostle, I'm going to go. And I went down there and I seen some of the, two of some of the most powerful. I said, these are some young people. These are some young people. And when I got in there, they school us old people, older. Amen. They search such a power, for such anointing, such elegance, such class. Would you give it up for prophetess Cecilia Matthews? We honor you, beautiful woman of God. Amen. And we understand that one of their pastors is here. Amen. Bless you, man of God. I can't see you, but God bless you. They speak very highly of you amen so we know you're somebody in the lord amen i could tell another story but i'll leave that alone amen would you give it up amen for this man of god this woman of god amen pastor the pastor and prophetess watts give it up for them amen we love you we honor you amen Thank God for Pastor Hill, Assistant Pastor Hill, amen. Lady Hill, amen. I'll leave that alone to my stories, amen. We honor you, amen, for standing by the man and the woman of God's side, amen. You are the epitome of, of uh, obedience, amen. And we just thank God for you, amen. We honor you. Thank God for mom and dad. Be here, give it up for my moms and my dad. Beard Apostles Dad, amen. We love you. Last but not least, would you give it up for this great man of God, this, this father, hallelujah, this father of many nations, amen, our very own Chief Apostle Paul Beard. I love you, baby. Amen. I love him. Amen. Thank God that he chose me. Amen. And he's taken me on one of the greatest adventures in my life. Amen. I just thank God for him. Amen. And his stand. Amen. In the body of Christ. Amen. Come on and give yourself a hand praise as you take your seat. Amen. 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 Is there any other clergymen or women in the building? If I miss somebody, God bless you. Lady McGee and all my children. Would you give it up, amen, for Pastor Greg, Lady McGee. Amen. That's my spiritual daughter, amen. They once pastored this ministry. Give it up for Pastor Irene McGee, amen, my spiritual daughter. We love you, amen. At this time, we are getting ready for our uh, announcements, amen. Hey family, I'm Apostle Cordero Beard. And I'm Lady Jessica Beard, and we would like to welcome you to DP Nation Pedal. And we're so very excited about what God is getting ready to do in this place today. So we hope that you are ready, because this is about to be an experience like none other. Hey. When you're hungry, it'll make you change your posture. See, I was laying down and I was asleep, resting in my bed, but because I was so hungry and I wanted something to feed my flesh, I needed him to get up immediately so that I could feed my hunger. Some of you are laying 
lackadaisical here in this sanctuary and you look like you're born out of your mind you look and I can make this declaration God will affirm because he watches over his word to perform it but you do not become skilled simply waiting till you get to church in front of people to act like it skill is developed when nobody's there and come on am I talking to anybody skill is the, it's your willingness to put in the work when nobody is watching you if you think that your calling will exempt you from work you are in the wrong move baby I have I you got to say, Lord, I don't understand it, but I believe you. I don't understand it. I can't make no sense out of it. I've been fighting with it for the last few months. I can't make heads or tails, but one thing I do, I believe God. Anybody in here ever had to walk by faith and not by sight? Come on here. Hallelujah. Shout glory, shout glory, shout Jesus! assignment, amen, that he's given unto us, amen, and we're in a meta time, meta, 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 matrix, all of that, amen, but we got the power, is that all right, amen, we're women of power, amen, we honor the Lord, amen, we also thank the Lord, we've been here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi for the past 25 years, 25 years, amen, and this is the first year that it's been moved, amen, so this year it will be located, amen, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, at the Renew Church, amen, there in Baton Rouge, amen, so we give God, we just give God the glory, amen, we just, as long as he's gracing us, we're going to keep riding it out, amen. So we submit, amen, to his will. We thank God, amen, amen, for this deliverance ministry. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. Amen. At this time, we're getting ready for our offering. Amen. It's time to plant. Amen. It is harvest time in the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. And we want you to prepare your seed, prepare the tent, for the tent is holy unto the Lord. Amen. 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 Prepare your seed. Prepare the tent for the tent is holy unto the Lord. Amen. At this time you may stand to your feet. Amen. 
Amen, amen. If you're giving by cash, amen, just put your hands in the air, amen, and the men of the house, amen, will serve you, amen. Just put your hands in the air, amen, and they will serve you, amen. If you're giving electronically, amen, all the ways are posted on the screen, amen, ways to give, amen, hallelujah. Glory to God. And if you don't have it, amen, there is a DP Nation app. Amen. There is a DP Nation app. Inside of that app is a whole lot of good things up in there. Amen. Glory to God. Telling us where we're at, what's the next assignment. Amen. Just a whole lot of things in there you can give through push pay. Amen. Through the DP Nation app. Amen, amen, amen. As you're giving, I also want to honor the Lord, amen. I can see now, amen. Give it up, amen, for my friend, my sister, amen. That will be Lady Jessica's mother. Family is in the building tonight. Amen. Give it up for this woman of God, amen, the mother of this queen, amen, this great woman of God, amen, amen, hallelujah, we go a long way back, amen, a sister is in the house as well, give it up, amen, for First Lady Clark Nicholson Temple, Church of God in Christ, amen, that woman of God never changes, amen, we thank God for her and the man of God, God bless you. Amen. And those that came along with her. Amen. Will there be another? Amen. If not, you done sold. Amen. And we're going to reap it. Amen. Glory to God. At this time, amen, we're going to just pray for the seed. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for the sowers, God, for the seeds, Father, that has been sowed. In the name of Jesus, God, we speak increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless the tent, for the tent is holy unto you, God. Rebuke the very devourer for our sake in Jesus' name. And it is blessed and it is so. Amen. And thank the Lord. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Y'all ready to go higher? Amen. Y'all ready to go higher? One more song. Amen. By this anointed praise team. Give it up. Amen. For DP Nation praise team. Amen. Amen. Come on and clap your hands one more time and give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody know the Lord is holy? Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, we're gonna just call him holy just for a minute. Hallelujah, glory to God. Great and greatly to be praised are you, Lord. Call you holy. Your name is holy. You are so holy to me. Come on, right there, say it. I call you holy. Your name is holy. Holy you are, and holy you be. Yes. Hallelujah. Anybody know he's holy? Come on, you can stand and sing that with us right here. Come on, let's do it again.
this queen on tonight amen lady jessica beard amen glory to god would you just bless her amen bless the lord for who she is amen glory to god in the body of christ and to the nations and to us amen and to this house amen this house has just grown amen tre tremendously because of the presence of this great woman of god amen this great daughter Amen. At this time, amen, to come to honor her. Of course, we will bring in the woman of God. Take a queen to no one. Is that right? Amen. Would you give it up for this young prophetess? Amen. Prophetess Cecilia Matthews. Amen. As she comes forth to bring the word of God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, how many of you came to be in the presence of the Lord tonight? How many of you came with a praise already on your lips? Come on, how many of you came to say to God, God, I love you more than anything? Come on, there are about 30 of you that can wrap back real back, go all the way back and say, God, I love you. God, I thank you. God, I bless you. God, you are amazing. God, you are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. God, we worship you tonight in spirit and in truth. Father, we thank you tonight. Are there any intercessors, any prayer warriors that say, I can turn this place into a place of prayer with my prayer? 
praise. I decree in the name of Jesus that every yoke be destroyed. I decree in the name of Jesus that every bow that tries to rise his head above your power, that it has to bow under the authority of the name of Jesus. We decree that tonight will be a night of breakthrough. It will be a night of impartation. We decree that lioness will roar again. We decree that we're going to get our roar back. We decree that we're going to open up our mouth, cry loud, and spare not. We decree that this is the night that breakthrough happens. Somebody shout. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. If you know that tonight is your night and you are a lady in this building, I need you to act a little bit more radical than this. You need to tell God, here I am. Do what you need to do. Here I am. Break every yoke off of me. Release me. Release me, God. I need somebody to shout. decree that tonight that that sickness has to bow under the authority of the name of Jesus. We declare lupus bow in the name of Jesus. I speak to lupus and I decree lupus bow now in the name of Jesus. We plead, we plead the blood, we plead the blood, we plead the blood over lupus. I don't know who you are, but I feel in the Holy Ghost that it's in this atmosphere. I declare it's gotta go. Go now. miracles my best friend was diagnosed with lupus but then by the time she went back to go get checked there was no sign of lupus I needed somebody to go crazy because if you know somebody that got lupus right now you ought to win crazy in the house of God. I didn't come here for my own personal breakthrough. I came here for your breakthrough. I believe God tonight. I believe God. Hallelujah. Let's honor the man and woman of God of this house that we are celebrating their anniversary. Come on, help me celebrate this power couple. The beards are such an amazing... I'm trying. I'm trying. We're going to get through the preliminaries and get to the word. But I want to say thank God for you, man of God. Thank you. I told the prophetess that I got some stories too. And uh, I'm not going to pull all of them out. But I'm going to pull this one out. We were getting ready to have, it may have been that, that Pastor Wise retreat. And um, Jessica was like a Pastor Prophetess, all of them all the titles she was just leading worship at the time preaching the gospel and I told her I said you're going to be over here at this retreat with us and uh, she laughed just like she just did because you know she has her own unique laugh and I love everything about it 
because it's beautiful to have joy. Can I speak that to you tonight? Because somebody's trying to rob you of your laugh. But tonight, I came for you, woman of God. I came for you. And the Lord says he's not going to take that laugh away from you because somebody needs joy and the joy that's on the inside of you because somebody's in mourning. But when they show up to you, joy comes to them. I need you to shout at her. Shout joy, 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 joy. Unspeakable and full of glory. Laugh, daughter. Laugh. Laugh uncontrollably because you're about to make the devil mad. You're about to laugh at his face. Everything he told you to shut up about, he's about to lose your tongue. Laugh! Laugh! Because it's on the inside of you. When you laugh, you break chains. When you laugh, you break the atmosphere open. Somebody shout, Joy! Uh, I came for you. I came to get you so I can take you to the women, to the first ladies' conference. I came to build you up so you can be ready. I know y'all saying, how can she do that? And she's younger than her. Listen, I've been doing, I've been a pastor now for almost 15 years. Now I say that's a long time, but that's a long time. The different things that I've been doing, things I've seen, things I've walked through. But do you see me still standing right here? That's called grace. So I came for you tonight came to pour everything I had into your cup. May it run over. And to my role model that does a women conference and shut everybody else's women conference for the rest of the year down. Don't nobody else need to have one. Did y'all see that flyer? I just bought my poor little conference paper up and said, but I've always been that way I'm literally waiting by February, March I'm just anticipating the flight I wanted to ask her in the back but I didn't want to say it to, you know, I not want to be too anxious like, you're doing your conference right last time she came out like a lion mighty God and now she bad girl Superwoman, I love you. I say that with the utmost respect. I love you. Way to take us into our next level. You're always five steps ahead of us. And as a spiritual mother, we appreciate that because we need a path to follow behind. Thank you for trailblazing. Thank you for leading the way. Thank you for giving us an example of class and elegance and then power and anointing. Only you can wear that dress and still roar like you do, man. Hallelujah. I'm grateful for you. And to Apostle Beer, y'all make some noise for your Apostle. Woo. Thank you, man of God. You're amazing as well. We are so grateful for you. Thank you for your hard work, labor, and what you pushed through so that we could all be in this place together. Amen. Pastor Godel, we're going to preach to you tonight too, just a little bit. But I'm going to try to save, save Bishop because he got something for you. It's ladies' night. All right. I tried to wear something comfortable so I can run. Right, we're going to see how this go. But I want to say this. To Keisha, thank you for your pursuit of the heart of God. Excuse me, Minister Keisha Brown Cooley, did I say it right? Pastor, Pastor Minister, Pastor Prophetess, thank you for leading us into the throne room. And then you left us there, that ain't right. We're going to preach tonight a message from Proverbs chapter number 31. But we ain't going to stay there. I'm trying to read this scripture from Proverbs 31. I'm glad I sent my notes and texts so y'all won't say I stole this topic. <laughs> I sent it beforehand before the flyer came out. 
I said, my God, I'm in the building. Thank you, God. I got a, I got a little anointing on my life, just a little. Proverbs 30, uh, 31, verse number 29. Many daughters have done well, but you, look at yourself, point at yourself. If you're a woman, say you. Excel them all. You may be seated. I'm going to preach a text called I Am Woman. I've been waiting to preach this. I've been waiting. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your word. I need you to look at another sister and say, I am woman. Since the beginning of time, woman has had a significant place in the heart of God. Women have been, since uh, the first woman was carved out of the side of Adam, have always been prayer warriors, victory dancers, faith stirrers, atmosphere shifters, nation carriers, fruit bearers, life givers. I'm just talking about woman. Woman has been a peacemaker, strong shoulders to lean on, destiny seekers. Last but not least, which is one of my favorite, it is a soul winner. If we were to trace the scriptures, we would find some adjectives that would definitely describe me and describe you. We would find adjectives like bold and fearless, anointed and appointed. I ain't talking to the right women in here because ain't nobody shouted back at your girl. Listen, I got an adjective for myself, beautiful. And then I was looking at today and I was, preach I was preaching to myself, really getting excited about the word. And the Lord started to show me the word powerful. He began to show me how powerful, how powerful the woman is, that she operates with full power, full strength. You can't break a strong woman. Come on, because we wear many hats. Many of us put on hats to take care of our children. We have the ability to cook a meal, also get on Zoom, make sure that all the stuff is going right on a business meeting, then turn around, change diapers, then turn around and fold clothes, wash dishes. Y'all ain't talking back to me. I'm talking about woman. Woman is a multi faceted, multi-talented. You can't take these things away from a woman because it's just built on the inside of her. Look at somebody and say, I'm proud to be a woman. I'm proud to be a woman. There was a time when the woman's voice was stifled. There was a time when women couldn't open up their mouths and say anything. But now God has freed us and given us an opportunity to declare the word of the Lord. And now we got to open up our mouths and cry loud and spare not. Look at somebody and say, I'm a woman. And I'm not going to shut up now. The one quote I told God this year, I will not be quiet. Why? Because when I'm quiet, the devil is louder. When I'm quiet, Satan gets into the ears of my children. When I'm quiet, Satan gets into the ears of my family members. When I'm quiet, Satan gets into the ears of those that are on the, on the street corner trying to figure out what their purpose is. But when I open up my mouth and began to decree a thing, Everything that I say shall be established. I need somebody to say I am a woman and I got a voice and I'm going to speak with my voice. I'm going to use my voice to change atmospheres. Are there any atmosphere thermostat changes on the inside of this building? I got the ability that when I walk in a room and the room is dead, the glory on my life lights that bad boy up. Why? Because I'm anointed. Look at somebody and say I am a woman. I'm woman, I'm woman, I'm woman, I'm woman. I have the ability to carry a baby for nine months. And it's at the ninth month when it gets hard. And most people would shut down, Lady Watts. When people would normally shut down and quit, I keep on pushing. I push through. Look at your neighbor and say, I push through. I push through. I'm not going to let nothing stop me from birthing what's on the inside of me. I'm not going to let nothing stop me from pushing out my destiny. I'm not going to let just a few contractions that cause pain to stop me from birthing out what's on the inside of me. I was built for pain. I was built for this. I'm used to pain. I know when you walk out and talk about me, I'm good girl. Why? Because I know who's with me. You walked out but he walked in. You left me but he came in. Look at somebody and say, I'm woman. 
I'm built, I'm built, I'm built, I'm built. I'm built for this. Look at three women. I need y'all to get out in the aisle. Go find you a girlfriend and tell them I'm a woman, I'm a woman. I know COVID out here, but I, I also got the ability to see healing happen. The Bible says that if I touch any deadly thing, it will not cause me any harm. I ain't scared of COVID. I ain't scared of none of that stuff. Why? Because I know the healer. I know y'all ain't talking back to me. I ain't dead. I should have been dead. Sleeping in my grave. Look at your neighbor and say, but God. But God, my destiny was bigger. My purpose was bigger. I couldn't die there. I had to live. Yeah. Say, I'm woman, I'm woman, I'm woman, I'm woman. I'm woman. I'm woman. And when I begin, apostle, to search the scriptures. Shout out to my handsome husband, too. That's my strength right there. That's why I can preach like I do because I straight, I got a strong man that I stand beside. That's how you know you're a woman when you're able to be submissive. Let him take the lead. Let him do what he do. Let him stand in his place and allow you to look good. Come on, because why? Because I'm his favor. Don't get it twisted. I'm still. When I searched the scriptures, I found a couple of women, y'all. These women, if I was back in the day, back in 2000, I'd say these women were bowed and bowed. I was just trying to check the room and see who knew what I was talking to. I was just trying to see what age group was in the building. Bowed and bowed. And. Okay. I went way back. I seen some high hat people in here. All right. Come back. As I began to search the scriptures, I found a couple of women who had a powerful testimony that they were able to pursue God even in the midst of pain. Shout, I was built for this. I found a woman, I searched the scriptures, I found a woman in 1 Samuel by the name of Hannah. I'm just trying to see are there any Hannahs in this room. Ever had to deal with somebody talking about you, lying on you? saying things about you, trying to make you quit in the midst of your destiny, but you got a word from God. And because you have a word from God, their words don't worry you. Oh, y'all should have wrote that down, hashtag that, baby. Your words don't worry me when I got a word. Throw this mic back there to that beautiful lady with the black and white on, and I'm going to let you preach this. You ain't going to worry me when I got a word because my eyes are fixed on the one that made the word. My eyes are fixed on the one that spoke the word into existence. Look at somebody say, you ain't going to worry me, you ain't going to worry me, you ain't going to worry me. Penina, you can talk about me, but your, your talking about me only pushes me into my destiny. So I learned something from Hannah, y'all. I learned the power of prayer. Are they any intercessors in the room it's something about when a woman apostle uh, pastor beard when she begins to pray the room turns up why do you think that there's such a rich legacy of when y'all say my grandmama prayed Come on, there's something happens when you begin to pray. Hannah began to pray even in her barrenness. Can I prophesy to somebody tonight that even in your barrenness, you are about to give birth. Y'all better hear me. God's about to cause you to give birth. Even in a dry season, even when everything is locked up and shut up. I need y'all to pray back with me. Come on, God's about to cause your barrenness to submit to his word. And the word says that you will give birth. Look at some and say, I'm going to pray until I see it manifest. Woo! Something happens. Women turn the temperature up in prayer. Don't mess with my babies. Don't mess with my husband. Don't mess with my children. Don't mess with my cousins. Because you know we really get crazy about our family. Come on somebody. Listen, God says that when you turn up the volume of prayer, then everything around you begins to shift. I need about four burning women that say don't mess with us. We will catch on fire in the midst of prayer. And when I pray, what I pray I'm going to see what I say I'm going to see I'm going to see everything that I say 
See, you've been pressed. Let me check the room on that. You've been pressed. That's a new word now. You've been pressed. You've been pressed about what hasn't manifested. But can I ask you, have you really prayed about it? Or have you just been talking about it? Come on, because if you've been praying about it, you ain't talking to the right one. Because if you begin to talk to the one, then he'll make things adjust just for you. Look at somebody say, he'll make the atmosphere change just for me. See, y'all think I'm lying. Y'all think I'm lying. Y'all think I'm lying. But can I just tell you out of the word that the Bible says that the heavens were shut up. But then, who? Elijah began to pray. And when Elijah began to pray, then the heavens opened up and rain came down. Could it be that that, could it be that your business, could it be that your book is not, could it be that those things are not released because you won't pray? Because the promise is, is sure in the word and whatever he says in the word is true and he says that it was shut up but when he prayed, immediately the heavens opened up and rain came. Look at somebody say it's about to rain. It's about Say it's about to rain. It's about to rain in your life. It's about to rain, woman of God. I need you to lift your hands really quickly. 30 seconds, point at her and tell her it's about to rain. God's about to rain blessings upon you. I dare you to sow a seed tonight into the woman of God and watch God rain in your life. What has been locked up is about to be released on your behalf. I decree overflow. I decree abundant blessings. That's about to manifest for you and your house. Somebody shout now. Look at somebody say it's about to rain. Yeah. Hannah. Ooh, Hannah. Hannah began to pray. Let me go because I leave. I stay on Hannah. That's my girl. But then I kept going. I, I, I leaned over into another chapter in the book of Esther, chapter number four, verse number 14. I found a mighty warrior who had perseverance to see her family come out. She didn't allow herself to stay locked up. And some of us allow our family, we just talk about them. We say, oh, they ain't gonna never do nothing. They ain't gonna never be nothing. They ain't gonna still be drunkards. They gonna still be liars. They gonna still do all these things. But do you realize that you have the authority to shift your family? There's a woman in this room, actually it's three of y'all, whose husband you've been praying for to get in this house. I dare you to begin to pray again. And God, I almost can come, I feel it so heavy, I can almost come sit by you on your chair. But I hear the Lord saying that he's about to cause him to come in. And he's going to lead, but he needs you to lead. Come on. He said, I need you to lead, lead in the place of prayer, not lead him, but lead him in the place of prayer. Come on, Esther, I need you to rise up for such a time as this. This is your time. This is your time, Esther. I need you to get up from that place. Come on, you're sitting too low. You've been sitting down here acting like a peasant when God called you a princess. Come on, you can't act like a beggar. You can't act like somebody that's begging when God has given you authority. You are not a peasant. You're a princess. You're a queen. Look at somebody say, I'm a queen. Look at somebody say, you too low, girl. You too low. You too low, man. You too low. <sighs> Kept searching. I got to go to New Testament so I can get to my actual scripture and text. I'm going to slide on over here. <laughs> slide on over here to Mary in Luke 10, 42. The good part. This woman knew how to build the foundation of her house. Her sister Martha was busy with much serving. Several of us get caught up in the, uh, I want to say the monotony of church. We just keep doing the same thing over and over again, seeing no results. That's why you are sometimes in church bored. Because you haven't done anything different to experience God in a different way. Can I say that you've lost your pursuit? Sometimes God, nobody used to have to make you get to church. 
It didn't have to be an anniversary or a special program for you to get to church. You were just so hungry for God that you would do whatever you needed to do to get into the house of God. Can I say that you're bored with God? That's going to ultimately cause you to miss God. Listen, let me tell y'all something. I have been, I was doing some planning recently. I was planning for something, and I was just so grieved in my spirit with the lack of everybody saying, you know what, I'm too busy, or you getting on my schedule, and I got to schedule. Why we got to schedule God in? When did we become so busy? My God, I'm just glad God ain't too busy for me. Car accident almost happened on Fort on 50, whatever this highway is, and you were a part of it. But he wasn't too busy to send his angels to stop the car. Y'all ain't talking to me. He wasn't too busy that when you were in the birthing room and your baby was stuck in the birth canal and the baby wasn't able to come out, I feel a Holy Ghost. He wasn't too busy to be a doctor in a sick room. You got a cancer diagnosis. He wasn't too busy to remove the cancer out of your body. When did we get too busy for God. When did we get too busy? When did we get too busy that now, come on, I can't come because I ain't got the right clothes. Do you understand? I would come up in this place with a t-shirt and some jeans on and roll on this floor. Why? Because of his grace and his mercy. I got some Gucci. I got red bottoms, but none of that stuff matters to me when I get in this presence because if without him, I wouldn't have no Gucci. Without him, I wouldn't have a pair of red bottoms. I wouldn't be fit. I'd be trying to fend for myself. I wouldn't have that stuff. Look at your neighbors and neighbor, don't you get too busy for God. Don't you get too busy for God. Got to get out of this phase where people got to beg you to love the God that breathe breath into you. She got to turn flips to get you to worship. Come on, somebody. Come on, we got to turn flips to get us to just be. No, I'm telling you this next year, God is about to awaken those that are lovers. This next season is for lovers only. This next season is for those that say, I want to seek the face of God. This next season is for people that are radical, that are say, I would get ridiculous. I'll act crazy for my king. I don't care what a title I have. Look at your neighbor and say, this one's for lovers only. This one's for lovers only. I don't care if I'm a preacher. I don't care if I'm a prophet. I don't care if I'm a pastor. I don't care if I'm a praise and worship leader. Baby, I'll get low. Why? Because he's been good to me. I'll worship him in spirit and in truth. Don't get so good that you forget God. Come on, don't forget the God of your altar. Come on, because you used to run to this altar three or four times in a month. Same issue until that one time he touched you and he totally transformed you. And it was that one touch that caused you to run after him for the rest of your life. Look at somebody and say, that one touch is coming back tonight. Look at somebody and say, God's about to touch me again. He's about to touch me again. He's about to touch me again. Look at somebody say, I found a good part. I got my eyes on him. I ain't got my eyes on all this glamorous stuff. Come on, because your flyer could be good, but you ain't got no anointing. Come on, somebody. You can post all the pictures you want all day, but you can't break a yoke. Come on, somebody. I need y'all to know that this is the season where power has to show up in the house of God again because people are looking for miracles. People are looking for signs. People are looking for wonders. But y'all better thank God that you're in a house with power. You're in under a ministry with power. No, 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 no. I done been to a lot of places and it's dry as a powder house. But when I got up in here, it was a well that caused me to feel like I could run, that I could move easily in the presence of God. Come on, somebody. Thank God for your well. Thank God for your water. Come on, thank God for it. Look at somebody saying, ain't dropping DP. Jesus. 
ain't dry up in DP. And can I prophesy that it will never be dry? Come on, come on. I feel a river running through this place. I feel a river. Bishop, I feel a river. I feel a river about to run through this place. And you're the one that's going to keep the water stirred. Your worship is going to keep the water stirred. Come on, somebody. Say, I've come to the well. I declare that tonight that this place will never run dry. I declare that there will never be a closed side on the door I don't care what pandemic is I'm not panicking in this pandemic why because I got power and God's going to keep us open I decree that this place will burst out at the seams I declare in the name of Jesus that souls are coming in look at somebody say never 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 run dry I'm about to throw this mic Never, never run dry. Never, never run dry. This last woman, this last woman, and I'm gone, I promise you, I love you, Lady McGee. This last woman reminds me of you. She's powerful. Yeah. <laughs> I just decided to stop by Luke chapter number one. <laughs> and when I got to Luke chapter number one, I had to hit pause. Because I got wrecked by a chosen one. <laughs> There's a woman in Luke chapter number one. She was chosen. Can I prophesy to you? You're chosen. All oh, right. See, there are some people that went, and then there are some people that were sent. Let me go to the text really quickly so I can show it to you real fast, and I'm gone. I'm going to let y'all go. The Bible says, now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God. <laughs> was sent by God. You got to be careful with looking at what everybody else got. Because you'll grab this microphone and try it. And you won't get the same results. I ain't going to say I had to pay for this because I'm telling you all the stuff that I went through, but I, the times that I was running from God, the things that I had to endure just to be able to do this. You don't see me sitting on that chair shaking my legs because I'm scared to get the microphone. You don't see me in the back begging God, please say something because if it ain't for you, if it's not for you, then I don't have the ability to do what I do. I want you to understand that this girl that's standing up here in front of you is used by God and God. God alone. It's not me. But I promise you, because I will be sitting there clapping at somebody else that's preaching. But when the Holy Ghost gets on you, then you can't do nothing but shift. You can't do anything but obey. This woman was chosen by God. The angel was sent to her. She was chosen, apostle. The next thing that we see here, not only was she chosen, but she had, um, let me look at this. Let me, this is the, the, my best part. He said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Not only was she chosen, but she had favor on her. She had the divine backing of God. She had favor on her. When she walked, they knew something was different. When she opened up her mouth, something came out. She had a voice. Watch this. He said that she had found favor. Now, Mary, he had to tell her, be, don't be afraid now because, you know, this angel just show up. You ain't going to act like you just know it's an angel. You're going to be scared like she was scared. So he had to tell her, don't be afraid. I was sent by God to tell you this message. He told her, he said, I'm about to put something on the inside of you. I'm about to throw this mic. He said, I'm about to put something on the inside of you. Watch this. 
And it, it says, he will be great. So that's the first thing he shows that what he puts on the inside of us, what we're carrying as a woman, watch this, it's great. Your purpose is great. You've got to begin to speak over it and stop dumbing down your purpose because it don't look like everybody else's. My husband was preaching Sunday and he said, listen, Abraham wasn't just known because he was a powerful preacher. He wasn't known because of all these things. He was known because he had faith in God. What we've seen in the tabloids, what we've seen in the newspaper are people that uh, have all these things together, but we don't see the hidden figures behind the scenes. But can I ultimately talk to the women of God that you're silent, but you're still a silent assassin in the spirit? You don't always have to be up front to be powerful. I need y'all to shout right there. You don't always have to have a microphone. Come on, somebody. You ain't always got to have something. Y'all ain't talking back to a, a girl tonight. Y'all ain't want to holler back at a preacher. You ain't always got to have a microphone for somebody to know your name. The beautiful thing is that he knows your name. Your name has been written in the Lamb's book of life. You said yes to him, and he wrote your name down saying, I'm coming back. And when I'm coming back, I'm coming to get her. I'm coming to get him. Look at somebody and say, you ain't got to have all that stuff. But what I got is great. Woo! What I got, though, is great. You may not understand it, but what's on the inside of me is great. Maybe you just published in the book. Maybe you didn't even write a word. Maybe you just hit the print button, but you're still great. Maybe you're not the one that's going to push the preacher. Maybe you're the armor bearer, but you're the adjutant. Do you realize you're still great? Do you realize that you're still carrying something? It is great. Look at somebody say, what I'm carrying is great. tell you Pastor Jessica what you're carrying is great don't dumb it down don't belittle it but push through with what you got on the inside of you because it's great watch this not only is it great but it has royalty it's royalty he said this one the son of the highest the Lord will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign forever over the house of Jacob and over this kingdom and his kingdom there will be no end he has royalty he What's on the inside of me, people have to reverence because it's royalty. I ain't got to say nothing. I ain't got to say a thing. Because <laughs> I'm royalty. Say what you may. But what you don't see is that those angels, all my angels, See, I look alone up here, but I'm, I'm surrounded. <laughs> you know, when you go to the, to the high courts and you see the, 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 the prince or whatever, the king, and he has all those soldiers, that's your angels. <sighs> he told you, you ain't got to worry about, that's why you, why you up? I'm going to go here. Why you up at night trying to figure out about the protection that God already promised to you? Can I tell somebody, you're going to sleep better tonight. You're going to get you a nice, good pillow. Lay your head down and rest tonight. Why? Because he's got angels that excel in strength. That's guarding your doorpost. What can you do with your little hand that he can't do with his big hand? He can take out an angel. He can take out armies with one word. He can take out thousands of people with one word. Listen, thousands may come, but it will not come nigh your they can be dropping all around you, but it ain't coming to my address. I need you to see this in the spirit because you've been, you've been downplaying who you are. Do you realize what you got on the inside of you? It's royalty. You got some DNA that makes him wake up. You're an ambassador of the king, and therefore he will send his angels on your behalf to take care of those people that have been scandalizing your name, those people that have been lying on you on Facebook. Come on, somebody. Those people that have been saying things about your children, your crazy boss, your crazy neighbor, your your crazy ch child's teacher, he handling it all. You ain't got to say nothing. He's saying it for you. 
is royalty, girl. Come on, when you're royalty, you walk a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to try it. Come on, you walk a little bit different when you're royalty. You don't walk like I'm defeated. Woe is me. How you doing? Hi. Right. How you doing? I'm all right. No, when they look at you, you know, we downplayed this, but the woman of God said, I'm blessed and highly favored. How you doing? Bless and highly favor. Don't think that you're too high to say that. Say it out of your mouth and don't take it back. Say it without regard. Don't allow anybody to steal that from you. You are blessed, girl, and highly favored. Come on, I'm blessed. Walk a little bit different. Bishop Matthews, I got royalty on the inside of me. These pants are about to make me mad. All right, here we go. Last thing, and I'm done. I'm leaving y'all. He said, Mary said to him, how can this be, though, when I don't know a man? She basically, a.k.a., was saying, how am I going to do this? Great purpose that you put on the inside of me. How am I going to do this? And I've never done this before. She was about to say, how am I going to give birth to something? And I don't know a man. I've never experienced this before. Yeah. How am I going to be this uh, great publisher, be this great president? How am I going to be this powerful preacher? How am I going to be this great writer? How am I going to do this? And I've never done it before. I'm about to throw my Bible. I'm going to come down here to see you. How am I going to open up my own boutique and I ain't never done it before? I ain't never seen nobody do this. Because, you know, my cousin was barren. Elizabeth was barren. So I don't know. I ain't seen another person do this. How am I going to do this? I'm finna, y'all about to run with me. Grab your neighbor already before we even say what we going to say. Get the right neighbor because the right neighbor... When I say it, her baby going to leap. His baby going to leap. I'm going to open up this daycare and I ain't never done this before. Pastor Je how am I going to be a pastor's wife and I ain't never been one before? I was just a praise and worship leader. I don't know how to lead these women. Got no vision. Got no purpose. Y'all ain't grabbed your neighbor. I need you to get the right one. I almost need the musician. Where they at? Do I need to play? Thank you, man of God. Your neighbor, I'm sorry, I took your neighbor. I'll come over there with you, though. Girl. How am I going to do this? <laughs> pastor Jay, how am I a pastor in a pandemic? People don't want to come to church already, and you want me to pastor people? In a pandemic, pastor. How am I going to do this? <laughs> Bishop Matthews. How, how, how? I'm sorry, I'm holding y'all on the how. I'm going to let y'all go to work in the morning, but I need y'all to understand this. How? How am I going to do this? Because I hear y'all in y'all kitchen. I see you in your bedroom when they keep saying they preach it every Sunday, and they keep telling you, you're going to be great. You're going to be great. You're going to be amazing. You're going to be great. You're going to be a powerful dancer one day. You're going to be a powerful preacher. You're going to open up your mouth and declare the word of the Lord. How am I going to do this? Yeah. And then the angel answered. For every person that's been asking God the question but hadn't got the answer. I'm about to give you your answer, Lady McGee. Pastor Watts, I'm about to give you your answer. Get your wife. Hold her now because she might buck. You're going to do this by the Holy Ghost. 
No, I got the wrong crowd. I got the wrong church. He said, you're going to do this by the Holy Ghost. You ain't got to worry about what you're going to say. You don't have to worry about how you're going to push that thing through. You don't have to worry about how you're going to make your money in this season. He said, you're going to do this. another woman with some beautiful heels on a beautiful dress powerful anointed woman of God you can't see everything in her but you see a beautiful person powerful pastor's wife but what you don't realize was what he was trying to tell her was that you're walking around woman of God with God in you you think you're carrying something little you're carrying God everywhere you go so when you get in a dark situation the light has to come on on the inside of you to turn on the light in everybody else you don't see her she is royalty she has power and she is anointed to birth a nation God says they are many daughters many daughters many You say 
dry season for you. And it's almost like everything around you is drying up. And you've been asking God, what's next for me? Should I stay? Should I go? And I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, I'm about to answer you tonight in a way that you couldn't imagine it. I declare in the name of Jesus that you still have gifts that you have to birth. There are things that you still have to do. God said, plant your feet and I'm going to prosper you in this place. I declare in the name of Jesus that prosperity will hit your house. In the name of Jesus, somebody say, I'm that you jump in and out and in and out and in and out but the Lord says I'm about to make you stable in this next season he said that as I stabilize you your business will prosper I declare in the name of Jesus no you were about to quit on it and give up but I declare in the name of Jesus multiple clients will hit you and you raise up the intercessor come on there's a dancer in there too you better get back on the wall and pray again you're not too young to pursue the heart of God. You're not. There's nothing out there. You better pursue God with everything that's in you. The next time I see you, you're going to be in a different spiritual place. God, stir up the gift.
my son, that you are loved. There's nothing you can do that can make God or us turn our backs on you. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying that he's calling you back to his heart. I declare in the name of Jesus uh, that you purify yourself. And I decree in the name of Jesus uh, that everything that's tried to attach itself uh, over this last two years, uh, I decree burn at the roots. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I declare uh, the fire of God. Uh, love. Ooh, love, 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 love be applied to you. Pastor Jay, will you pray with him? Come on, begin to believe God. that what has been hard God says I'm about to make it easy it's almost like you be grinding and you're coming up against the wall and I declare oh I'm about to walk around you seven times can she come out come out can you come out really quickly Y'all don't mind if I do this really quickly because I got to keep them on. They like to come in. Y'all going to help me. Y'all going to help me shout this wall down. Because this had a hold on your ministry. Coming back around. Because you have a ministry of giving. And it's almost like you're giving to the place where you're depleted. But the Lord says, I'm about to restore you. The enemy's desire is to sift you. He said, I'll sift you in your finances. I'll sift you ooh, in your family. And then he said, I'm trying to sift you in your body. But I decree in the name of Jesus that your body is about to come into alignment with the word that says by his stripes that you are healed. I decree in the name of Jesus. We curse every sickness at the root. And we walk because we believe that tonight that God's about to take this wall down. I need everybody. That's my seven time. You know what?
the hearts of people. Stir up the gifts on the inside of them. Let no gift lie dormant. I declare and decree. Woo! Healing and restoration in this house. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. for the word, amen, that has gone forth, amen, at this particular time, amen, at this particular time, we're going to call for a sacrificial offering, amen, a sacrificial offering, amen, and this is a, this is a special night on tonight, amen, this is ladies night, ladies, amen, this is the night of the queen, amen, Amen, the queen of this house, and we want to bless her on tonight. Amen, amen. And I just know this, in this building on tonight, if I can get just 10 women of God that were standing with me, amen, with a $100 seed, come on. Look at somebody and say, we can do this. We can do this. Amen, God wants to bless us abundantly in this season amen glory to god and sometimes you gotta you gotta just sometimes you gotta you got to you got to give up something to receive something amen hallelujah and i want to challenge your faith on tonight a hundred if a hundred dollars gonna scare you amen if a hundred dollars is gonna scare you how many know you ain't ready for the next level amen because i'm claiming millions amen Hallelujah, glory to God. I believe that in this season, hallelujah, it's an open heaven. Money is just, I just felt prosperity just coming from everywhere. She was talking about birthing those business and stepping out on faith, amen. Glory to God. In this season, if you just sow, you will reap, amen. Sow into somebody else, bless somebody else, and as you bless somebody else, God is going to bless you, amen. I'm, I need a business, amen, and on tonight, I'm going to stand in faith, trusting God, amen. As I bless her, he's going to help me birth that business. Is that all right? Amen. Come on, amen. Where the 10 at? Can I get 10 women? This is one right here. Amen. This is one. Would you all just come so I can see where I can count you? Amen. This her seed. 
Amen. My apostle, my bar friend standing for me. I'm number one. Amen. I say that's my check. <laughs> Amen. We bless him. Wasn't that a word on tonight? I am a woman. I am woman. Powerful prophetic word. Amen. You're a powerful woman. Amen. How many do we have? We got level. Amen. Do we got overflow? Hey, that's what I'm expecting in this season. Amen. You expect an overflow. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. How, that's, how many is that? That's one, two. That's 15. Amen. Can we get 20? Amen. That's 16. Come on. When we get to 20, we just going to shout about it. Hallelujah. Come on. If you want to break through the night, sow that seed. Amen. Then we don't have no tricks. Amen. But if you would just sow those, would you just, if you would sow that seed, God is going to bless you. You need a breakthrough, sow a seed. Amen. You know, I got a testimony. You know, I already got some stories. You know, we got some stories. Amen. Amen. As apostles say, we were so poor. You know, when we were starting these churches and they had no credit, no money, no back. 20 something years ago. Amen. And, and, and I can remember going into revival and we, we, we went. And Apostle was like, he was taught to keep that seed. He said, if God done gave it to you, don't you go give it away. <laughs> and I can remember sitting, amen, I can remember we were so broke, I'm trying to tell you. I can remember sitting in the service. We don't look like what we've been through. This you don't know the story. You just see the glory. Amen. you to follow us on all social media platforms. And remember, when I say unto one, I say unto all, we do have dominion and power.